How's it going everybody? My name is Zach Legier and today I have a BMW 340i. Now as you can tell this car is modded. Have some big exhaust tips, this little ducktail, aftermarket wheels, and performance side skirt, and different hood. Same with front bumper. Is modding your car worth it? That's what we're gonna talk about today. Now this is the first of a series I'm thinking about starting. So one of the first mods he did was these M3 seats. Now a mod that in my opinion goes overlooked are the seats itself, you know? The seats is what's gonna make your whole driving experience. It's gonna make or break it. Interior wise, seats are the only thing that he has done so far. You have our sport display on the screen. But this car, tuned, downpipe, it's, I think it's stage one, might be stage two, not exactly sure. But it is quite powerful. As far as modding your car goes, personally, it's what you like. A big thing about the car scene is everybody, well not everybody, but sometimes a lot of people are very negative about the mods you do to your car. So say, oh, I don't like those wheels, you're gonna hear about it, you know? So I have the whole mod list right here. We have the GTS style hood, the M2 front bumper, this interior is from an F80 M3, GTS style black taillights, uh, forged carbon high kick spoiler, full exhaust system with CTS turbo catalyst downpipes, stage two on 93, roughly makes 450 horsepower and four, or, uh, 500 foot, foot pounds of torque. And it is lowered on H&R springs with 513 millimeter wheels. So, it's not crazily modded to the point where you can't daily it, but it's tasteful enough to where you can daily. So first impressions, once we are in the car, these seats are great. Probably one of my favorite mods that he did to this car. But, um... So when it comes to modding your car, or at least this car in general everybody has different tastes you're not going to please everybody but as far as this car goes i think he did a great job it's very tasteful mods slightly bit obnoxious it does have a purple tune Let's see if we can hear those purples sounds good So the way this car works as exhaust goes, BMW has the Eco Pro Comfort Sport Sport Plus. When it's an Eco Eco Pro, we don't get all those burples, we don't get none of that cool sound. Now we go ahead and put it in Sport Plus, that's when all the burples come out, as you guys can hear. So we'll we will go ahead do a we will go ahead do a second gear pull once we straighten out. This thing is quick. This thing is very very quick. A lot of people hate on the burples, like the purple tune itself. I honestly love it. This thing is quite peppy. exhaust sound once you're just cruising and we're doing 50 miles per hour right now it doesn't drone at all 
you honestly, you can hear a little bit of burple, but once we get slow down and start downshifting, it really starts to pick up again. Freaking blast to drive. <laughs> 